Welcome back to Houston Life. Our next guest has been a force to be reckoned with in the comedy scene since he rose to fame in the hit sketch series Mad TV with his hilarious Hollywood stars impressions. And this weekend you can catch him at the Houston Improv for several shows. That they'll be um, quick-witted, you know, full display of all the things. If you know what Aries likes to joke about, you know what you're going to be in for. It should be pretty fun. Welcome to hey. Houston. Hey. Thanks hey, for joining how you doing? us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, look, you've been doing this. You've been in the game for a long time. Yeah. And I, I don't know if people realize, even before Mad TV, even before you made huge success waves, you were doing this at 14 years old. How do you do comedy at 14 years old? Uh, you know, I'm an 80s baby, so I, you know, I kind of grew up watching uh, one of the greatest comedians of all time, Eddie Murphy, on Saturday Night Live. And then I kind of did my research, and it was like, he's an Aries, I'm an Aries, we both had the same birthday, April 3rd, both from New York. He started at 14, so I just took all that as motivation to get started. That's a great way to make him a mentor, right? Kind of use him. He's everybody's mentor. Absolutely. He's one of the greatest. Absolutely. It just goes to show, like, how important it is to have a mentor. I mean, that's mind-blowing. And to see someone like that and to yeah. be able to identify. I'm an Aries, by the way. Are you really? When's your birthday? April 11. All right. I'm April yeah, 3. I'm April 3rd. Okay. April 11. Yeah. I know. I was like, I Googled you. I was like, wait, do we have the same birthday? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about your comedy of style, though. Yes. I feel like as an 80s baby, you can really go anywhere. But what do you enjoy most doing stand-up shows about? Uh, you know, I like doing crowd work. That's always fun when you can kind of put the, you know, you got your material, you know you can depend on that, but when you can kind of just improvise improvise, and, and, and be spontaneous, uh, that's kind of a rush. Uh, and like you said, you know, I come from that generation of Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy, yeah. George Carlin, so my comedy cocaine is raw and uncut. <laughs> I love, Absolutely. I do love, I, will, I do want to say your crowd work is awesome. Thank and you. I do love good comedy crowd work. Thank you. But it's terrifying if you're in the audience because, you know, sometimes it can cut a little deep. But people, yeah, you I mean, know, you know, uh, the, the ones that really, I think, look forward to it are the ones that purposely sit up front. So, you know, it's a little strategic uh, <laughs> on some audience members' parts. But, uh, you know, if you yeah. know how to read a room and you know how to gauge what's going on, you can kind of... Mental note, do not take selfies at Aries <laughs> show because you will get called out for it if you're in the front. Uh, you know, don't do anything that's not great comedy. Can I go anything. to the bathroom? <laughs> yes, that Okay, all right. That, Have you you ever, that would be, yeah, that, I wouldn't even... That's when not I, to say that I, I still won't <laughs> call at you. See, I will you, not go, to, go the to the bathroom. bathroom. Yeah. I would hey. not go during a comedy show. I'd be too scared. I want to yeah. talk about Mad TV. What kind of an experience? Uh, that Look, that show was so great. It was just so... So much fun to watch, and it was, mm -hmm. uh, you know, at a time where that was when the show was to good. watch. Yeah. That was this, but you had so many great characters. And what <laughs> kind of experience was that? You know, I never, <laughs> I never went to college, so I say for me it was like my fraternity. You know, coming up with all those guys, it was like my college of that I never went to. So yeah. just being able to be with an ensemble cast and a cast of characters like that was just so much fun. Oh yeah. my gosh! And one of the characters that you did so well, and we just saw him. Oh, and Shaq. I think you, yeah, Shaq. <laughs> Yeah. Do you know, I just interviewed him recently. Did you really? Yeah. He Would you ask him? Oh, go ahead and tell him. <laughs> what did you ask him? I said, are you the big chicken around here? Yeah, it's like I'd be, I'd be the big everything in Miami. I was the big Aristotle. I was the big, I was the big beach. You know, everywhere I go, I, got, I give myself a title so everybody know what I do. You know, dominate the pitch 24-10. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> That was perfect. so. You did you did that Shaq for, yes. for many many years yes. on the show. It, I know you probably have a laundry list. I mean, do people stop you now and just do Shaq, do Shaq? Who else you know, do they ask I, you to it, do? It's anybody that's well for me that's new is always fun. So and you know I grew up in New York and New Jersey. So and one of my favorite TV shows of all time was The Sopranos. Mm -hmm. So you know anytime I get to hang with the guys, Christian for show got at the bottom egg. She's good for the business. <laughs> I often talk to Artie. He's working about Silvio's in the weekends. We can't really be there. <laughs> Yeah. So good. What is, is, yeah. Do you have to work for a long time to get? I just find you it. You know, it's, it's almost amazing. like music. People that understand and, and can sing, everybody's voice is an inflection, a note, uh, a tone. So if you can if you can lock into what that tone is, you know, with Shaq, it's breathy and bassy. Tony and Dan, I'm gonna dominate. And you know, Tony Soprano. It's all about the ish. When I talk to my sister Jadish. So if you if you lock into that, you know what it is. Oh my god. Really gosh, quickly I love for it the so show much. at the improv this weekend, what can fans expect from that one? Uncut Bolivian Yayo, baby. <laughs> Raw comedy cocaine, baby. Ain't been <laughs> stepped on. No baking soda. It's straight hardcore. Aries, 
Well, Don't go anywhere. <laughs> and, for, and for the record, it's as sexy and as beautiful as a leg game. Oh! Yes. We've got to take a quick break. Oh my but more with Ari Spears when Houston Life returns. I love it. Thank you. Welcome back to Houston Life. We are hanging out with comedian Ari Spears. You got a show all weekend long at yes. Houston Improv. How many shows are you doing tonight? Uh, you know, I know tonight is one show, two Friday, two Saturday, one Sunday. So wow. I think like six total. Do you pick favorites of the crowd by which audience responds better? Like, yeah, I loved the 9 p.m. Houston. They yeah, were a really good crowd. It, it, you know, it's different all over the country where you go. Uh, but one of the things I really do love about Houston is all the crowds are great. I mean, it's a big room. You know, we, we pretty much sell out every show. Uh, and I mean, the audience is just very diverse. So, you know, it's, it's just fun. You know, a lot of energy. This is a good crowd, man. Yeah. yeah. I know Houston to be a really good crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to mention this because I want our viewers to know that you are currently part of CNN's See It Out Loud. For viewers, See It Loud. See It Loud. I'm yes. sorry. My bad. For viewers who have not watched it, what is that show about? Uh, it's, a, it's a new series, and they basically, uh, I don't know how many episodes make up the whole series, but every Sunday it airs at 9 o'clock, uh, and it's about, you know, uh, black people's contribution to American television. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it just chronicles the history from the 50s all the way till today. Everything from sketch comedy, late night talk shows, sitcoms, variety shows. So how's it know. been pulling that show together and being part of it? Has it been has it kind of blown your mind to see how much of a country, you know, like just to see the history of television? Uh, you know, you know I, I think that, you know, when you know the history of this country, black yeah. people have always played a major staple in the development of America yeah. from, from building it to being a part of it. So, so you know, uh, I, I always embrace it. You know, yeah. as a black man, I have to. Yeah, Absolutely. well, and I think yeah. it's, yeah, it just sounds like a powerful, powerful show. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. want to play a little game with you. Can we do a little bit of a rapid fire game with Aries? Yes. Okay. We got a little bit of questions. Uh oh. They're, they're going to be simple <laughs> ones. They're going to be simple. We're going to put one minute on the clock. It's a rapid fire game with Aries Spears here. Okay. All you got to do is answer as fast as possible. I got as you. As you. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Aries Spears, day or night? Depends. Ooh. <laughs> talking or texting? Uh, I like talking. Cause some cer certain it's because you're an 80s baby. No, that no, but certain things get lost in translation. Okay. Oh, okay. That's so true. Fair enough. All yep. right. So then, I mean, maybe you don't have a favorite emoji? I, I, I don't. I'm, 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 you know, I don't. Talk. You don't need yeah, to. You don't yeah, need emojis. Yeah. All right. Go to hype song. Wait, what is it? Go to hype song. Uh, go to a hype song. Uh, anything Jay-Z or DMX. Uh, but anything female, meaning in the presence of a woman, Michael Blue Oh, okay, all right. Oh, hey. oh Lauren. Lauren loves Michael. But this the white ladies didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tough one. This could be kind of tough. What, who's the funniest person you know? Me. Ah! Thank you so much. Are we, we done? Up. Let's talk about your well, podcast, podcast before we leave. Yeah, we tell us about it. That uh, it's called Spears and Steinberg. Uh, it's available on all streaming platforms. Uh, I always tell people, look, look me up under my Instagram, Ari Spears. Slide into my DMs. <laughs> I'll give you the links. I'll chop it up with you. Uh, you yeah. really do? Absolutely. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, you know, this, that whole celebrity thing is blown out of proportion to me. Yeah, yeah. I, I try to be as regular as I can. I don't know. I mean, you were, you were like, telling me to separate the M&Ms back in the green room. Oh, you know I ain't told you nothing. Like, <laughs> M&Ms only. No, I, mean. I was looking for the black ones. <laughs> hey, hey, can you do an impression of Michael Bublé? I wish I could. Okay. I wish I'm not that smooth like yeah, that. I don't believe you. I bet oh, you man, work I, on it for us for next time. I, yeah. I will. I will. <laughs> you see this calf muscle? <laughs> oh, I said for my Barbie move, for I me to step out of my shoe, right? Oh I'm going to do it. Look at that. I'm not ah. doing that again. I can't believe I just did that. Ari Spears, that thank you beautiful. so much. That's you beautiful. can catch him at the Houston <laughs> Improv starting tonight through Sunday, July 23rd. There are several shows, and this show is 18 and up. It definitely <laughs> is, and all the details will be on our website, HoustonLife.com. TV. We will be right back.